Created at the site of the Denver Leadville Stagecoach Stop in a scenic mountain canyon southwest of Denver in 1915, Tiny Town is the largest kid sized village and railroad in the U.S. Welcome to Tiny Town and Railway, one of the most popular family attractions in Colorado. With all the smiles and laughter going around here, it's difficult to imagine that Tiny Town ever had its share of troubles. Located just a half hour's drive outside of Denver in Turkey Creek Canyon, the railroad has continuously operated since 1989, but its full history stretches all the way back to 1915. And a gentleman by the name of George Turner owned this property, and he started building uh, small houses, miniature houses, uh, we think for his granddaughter. And uh, the first heyday at, I at Tiny Town was uh, during the 20s. It was an all-day trip at that time up dirt roads from Denver. And uh, at that time, there were several miniature houses. Uh, there was an Indian Pueblo. They had Indian dances here, uh, horseback riding. All was well until the late 1920s and 1930s when two floods damaged Tiny Town. As if that weren't enough, a terrible fire destroyed all the principal buildings in 1935. Luckily, the flames spared the miniature buildings. But Tiny Town would endure a new hardship, this time a man-made one. In 1948, Highway 285 was rerouted from the front of Tiny Town, making it much more difficult for travelers to find or even know about the attraction. The once carefree park fell upon hard times. Although Tiny Town was restored by a new set of owners, they must have felt discouraged by the lack of business and put it up for sale again in 1966. After four decades of highs and lows, Tiny Town was closed. There it lay, tucked in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, awaiting a brighter future. But Tiny Town would have to endure yet another natural disaster before that. In 1969, it was hit by a devastating flood. This time, everything in Tiny Town was reduced to ruins. Somehow, the orphan Tiny Town found another loving family. Lyle Fulkerson, a model train buff and master mechanic, took the village under his wing and began an ambitious restoration. The Fulkerson family regraded the rail bed and even widened and deepened Turkey Creek itself. Once again, Tiny Town's future looked optimistic. But tragedy struck again in 1977, when a full-sized runaway train killed Lyle Fulkerson in Denver. Devastated by the loss, the family closed the park. For the next decade, there were various unsuccessful attempts to revive the failing little village. Finally, in 1987, a real estate management team adopted this all but forgotten child. And they auctioned off lots and people restored many of the original buildings. And it was about 1990 that the train was up and operational again. And uh, uh, since then, we've been open constantly. And each year we've tried to make, uh, generate enough income to make some nice improvements in the park. And I think the park now looks as good as it ever has. And we're, ge we're getting some real nice crowds here. Tiny Town is again filled with the sound of laughter. It has expanded to include over 80 miniature structures. One of our favorite buildings is, uh, is the firehouse, which was right behind me, and it was built by the Denver firemen, and it came on the scene in about 1990, and it's made so that the little ones can go inside of it. Uh, last year, we added the American Gothic. That's a famous uh, building uh, located in Eldon, Iowa, that Grant Wood used for the backdrop of his famous painting. Another interesting building, which is one of the original that's been refurbished, is our little church down in the Pine Grove. We've had four weddings uh, at that little church since I've been here, and it's, it's a fun thing to do. We sell a lot of season passes. Uh, we have people that come here once a week, those that live close in the area. Uh, it, it's just delightful for children. Uh, we also have senior groups come up. It's kind of nostalgic and a step back in time for them. and. Uh, People, uh, kids say they want to go to Tiny Town. Father's Day, Mother's Day, those are big days for us. Visitors can choose to ride passenger cars carried by a trim diesel engine or go with the more traditional looking steam engine. Either way, their nine minute ride through the Turkey Creek Canyon is a memorable one. 
Right now, it looks like Tiny Town's troubles are all in the past. What once was a railroad built to amuse one little girl now entertains thousands of families each year.